Hey guys, well, I'm still working on it, as you can see in the background. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you everybody who sent me feedback about software ideas. I got a ton of software ideas. I mean, wow. <laughs> the number of people that either sent me direct messages, responded in kind, in, in the thread rather, and or emailed me with uh, like in-depth software ideas, uh, I was surprised by. Thank you very much. If I've not responded to you yet, I will. I'm getting to them. There's just a lot. <laughs> Uh, I, I, get, I, have, I have awesome viewers. My viewers are great. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Um, so what's going on with me? Still working. Uh, so I am still going, I'm still going to, to work every night. I work nights. Uh, I work from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And I don't like working nights. Working nights sucks. Uh, primarily because I don't get anything done on the plane. You know, I come out here. Sometimes it'll be 2 or 3 in the morning, which is my afternoon. And... I don't know. I, I, I don't want to work on it. I don't want to work on it in the dark. I, it, even though it's you know lit up in here for whatever reason, I don't like working uh, on the plane because I want the hangar open. You know, I don't like working on the plane at night. It's a beautiful day out right now. Um, and at nighttime, it's just dark and there are bugs and, and <laughs> it's lonely and, and I don't know. I don't like it. I, I don't, I, I, it's hard to stay motivated at nighttime for me. So for whatever reason, don't like nights. Thankfully, that's changing. Uh, so I'm going to be going to the police academy. So right now I'm a corrections officer. Here soon I'm going to be a deputy uh, working for the sheriff's department. And that means I'm going to go to a class, go back to an academy. Uh, for many of you, you know I was a police officer in Texas for a number of years. Uh, however, it has been a number of years. And Georgia, Georgia is a rather strict about that, that if you have not been a police officer within a certain period of time, then you have to go back through a full academy, which is fantastic. Okay, uh, good training. Send me to full academy. You're going to pay me to sit in a class and learn stuff. All right, uh, that's going to be awesome. So doing that here soon, which means I'll be, be back on days, which means I get to come home, and especially on the weekends, get to work on the plane. Everything is turning out. So I'm really happy there. Uh, still working on the uh, right wing, and I'm working on the forward part of the white, right wing right now. I'm doing uh, redimpling all the holes and getting it, you know, on, on that on that forward part of the wing, as well as working on nut plates and getting everything, you know, set up to you know to put it together. Um, so that's what's going on with me. So while I'm sitting here working on the nut plates, um, I thought I would talk a little bit about them and show you how I uh, put them on this, this piece here such that I know that the holes are always lined up. Uh, this is one of those things where you need to make sure your nut plates are lined up correctly and that the screw will go in you know, and seat perfectly once you get it all working. Uh, or you're not going to have a good time. Uh, I can't think of anything more frustrating than putting a nut plate on the back of the plane, you know, on the back of the part rather, and then later on down the road trying to screw it in and you realize you can't because there's binding due to the skin or some other problem. <clears throat> and so uh, what I have taken to doing, as you can see, I've got the holes here, everything, you know, you've got the two sides are machine countersinked and the primary big hole is dimpled, which corresponds to the nut plate. You know, the this is, this is dimpled because it's gonna rest down inside of here. These are machine countersunk because these are not dimpled, right? There are a few other places in the plane where you will dimple uh, the two wings of the nut plate, but not a lot. Most of it, most of it is machine countersank uh, on either side uh, and dimpled for the main piece, if it's dimpled at all. Uh, some of them, a few of them uh, are not machine countersunk, or rather not dimpled at all, but rather entirely machine countersunk. So anyways, so what I do is I have a test screw and I go ahead and I fit the test screw through the hole and kind of start getting it a, a little bit screwed in uh, so that I can, uh, you know, seat it where it needs to be uh, using Clecos. So let me get this screw down just a little bit here and then get my Cleco. And I go ahead and I put it all the way in and then you can see here I've got a single Cleco sticking through the back it's halfway screwed down and you can see here i don't know if that translates real well to the camera but you can see that that is not uh correctly situated there so you can adjust it ever so slightly and i'll show you how to do that in a second um, so let me screw this guy all the way down make it tight and i find it's easier if you put one finger right here uh, when you're screwing down to kind of kind of keep it from bowing a little bit 
And uh, I do this with a hand screwdriver as opposed to an electric, just to, I don't need it, you know, super tight. But, so now as you're, as you're screwing, as you're putting that torque on, you are by the very nature of doing the torquing, you're gonna cause this, 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 uh, this arm over here to kind of move upward, which means it's not going to be correctly centered. And you can see there, there's kind of a, a shadow or a, a crescent of the hole, but not the actual hole. You don't want to drill. Like you could easily get your drill out and just drill that hole, but all you're going to end up doing there is making the hole way over here much, much bigger than it needs to be. So instead, once you, eh, magnets, once you have it set, you know, fully tightened, Clico in, fully tighten, you see this crescent, just use the screwdriver to, I don't know if this is translating well, go back ever so slightly. And what you're doing when you're not actually loosening it, like the screw's not loosening from the from this plate, but rather it's actually turning the plate and the screw at the same time um, so that it lines up. So you can see now it should line up perfectly, which means we can put our rivet in. So this guy's in the way. Slide the rivet in. You can see it's nice and flush. And get out ye old squeezer and give it a squeeze. And this is one of those places you want to go nice and slow. Nice and slow. You don't want to overdo it. Like it's, I think there's a tendency for some people to just go bam. And that's a good way to screw things up. You want to, you want to just learn to go ever so slowly with it until it sits fully and you're going to have a much easier time. They make foot pedals for these, by the way, that a lot of people recommend. They, they say the control on the foot pedal is a lot uh, more sensitive than this little thumb arm. Yeah, it's extra money. So, so there's that. That's what I'm doing. Um, from there, you can see, you can just now pull out the other one. This is, it's perfectly, uh, it's perfectly centered because we had, we had centered it correctly and put in the other rivet and seat it home using our trusty, uh, squeezer. and then take the screw out and that's it. So that's how I'm doing these. That's how I've done all of them on this piece specifically and the other one on the other wing uh, and how you do a lot of them. And it's basically how I do most of the um, nut plates throughout the entire plane is I use a screw to make sure it's seated correctly, use uh, Clicos on either side to again, hold it in place, get it all situated and all lined up, remove a Clico, set a rivet, remove a Clico, set a rivet, perfectly set. So there you go. I hope that uh, explains what the heck I'm doing over here. And I had, uh, by the way, on a, on a complete side note, I had thought about getting like a 360 degree camera and like just posting it like over my shoulder or something while working um, so that you guys could just look around while I'm working. It would have to be on a different channel or something. I don't know how I would do that. I don't know if that's something that'd be interesting to you, like like the ability to just look around while I'm out here. I don't I don't know. Leave your feedback down below. I'd be interested to know if like a 360 degree camera is something that you'd be interested in, or if it was if that would be one of those like fads that you'd use it once and then go, eh, okay, never mind, <laughs> and then never use it again. I think people want more close-ups, not more, you know, you know, larger area. So anyways, back to it. Hey guys. Uh, oh yeah, I, uh, I had to shave for the academy. I hate it. It kind of shows off my waddle. Anyways, what I really wish to, uh, wish to talk about uh, regarding that whole 3D camera thing, and it's, it's, it's something that I've been thinking about for a long time. I really wish that there was a way for me to have like, I'm working on the plane and then I can like highlight something within the frame in like a 3D space. And then you could click on that and you like, you move over to that. And now you're looking from a different view. Uh, it's something that I think the next, the next iteration of like online training and, and various uh, 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 courses and things like this where I'm actually working on something and trying to show stuff from different angles. It'd be really cool if when you're watching a video, like it's a stream, but it's multiple streams to allow you to move around in the space to each camera, uh, all within the same video window. 
Come on, YouTube, make it happen. That would be awesome. I really think it's kind of the future of where we're going with this sort of thing. And uh, it would really take advantage of those 3D cameras. Anyways, that's an aside. So, um, you, like I said, I, I had to shave, and, and that's because I'm, I'm going to the police academy. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me if I'm going to be at AirVenture this year, and unfortunately, no, I'm not. Uh, I had, had totally planned to be there this year. This was the year I was going to go. And then once news came down that they're, they're going to send me to the mandate school, uh, a police academy, that, I, well, that's out now. So uh, doing lots of police academy stuff, I am as sore as a person can be because they're PTing the crud out of us. It's good stuff though. I'm really, I'm having fun, uh, good information, lots, lots going on there. Uh, it does mean I'm working less on the plane and that's just a, a factor of me being in school right now. Uh, I will continue to come out here on the weekends and work as I can. I have a lot of studying to do though. There's no way I can do it during the week just due to my schedule, how far I have to drive and all that. So there's just, uh, there's gonna be less videos for the next three months. Uh, my school graduates in September, so. Until then, I'm going to try to piecemeal out some videos to you as best I can, but they're going to be short and there's just not going to be a lot to it. So I'll probably make those videos free. I won't, I won't charge my patrons. Thank you guys so much for being my patrons, by the way, and I really appreciate your patience. To everyone out there, please keep sending the questions and comments. I really love you guys. Thank you so much. That's where I'm going to go ahead and end this video today. I appreciate everybody. If you'd go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down there, it would really help my rankings. And if you really want to help and become one of my patrons, just for as low as a dollar a month, you can actually help me continue to make this thing. I will continue to produce these videos, even though just due to my, my schedule and work, what's going on right now, I'm taking, I don't want to call it a hiatus, but I am kind of having to pause a little bit or at least slow down while I'm in the academy. This does kind of prove though that you can do this stuff even while doing something with an, an, an incredible schedule. Uh, my schedule is borderline egregious right now. It's, it's, so, it's so packed. Uh, I, finding time just to come out here and film this little bit uh, was rough. So anyways, thanks everybody. Have a good one. Um, oh yeah, what number is this? I don't even know. This is, I cannot see that today, 209. I've got to get new glasses, like my right eye is getting kind of blurry. I got LASIK back in uh, 1999 and it's lasted up until now, but I think, I think it's starting to fade. Age sucks, avoid it if you can, although I guess the alternative is not better. Meh. All right, here we go.